Our starting point this hour, the fourth parliamentary hearing on the shocking power abuse scandal involving President Bach and her confidant. Though the most hotly anticipated figures were no-shows and witnesses present provided little to help dig out the truth, there were some revelations. Park ji has our top story. More than a dozen witnesses gave testimony on Thursday on a range of issues related to the Choi soon case. But some of the key figures didn't show up, including Choi's ex-husband, Jung yun hui who was also President Park's chief of staff when she was a lawmaker. Their absence was a disappointment to people wanting to get to the bottom of the scandal. Although officials from two government-linked foundations were at the hearing, their testimony didn't offer much of substance. The foundations were allegedly controlled by Che, who is also accused of extorting huge donations from major Korean corporations. Regarding one lawmaker's question about who is the de facto owner of the foundations, Che or President Park, the former chairman of one of the foundations said. It is very hard to answer. I'm sorry, I haven't thought about that. It's a hard question for me to answer. However, there was one revelation that Choi may have attempted to cover up the fact that Korean conglomerates, including SK, were forced to make financial contributions to one of the foundation's case boards. A Democratic Party lawmaker produced an audio recording of a phone conversation between Choi and a case boards official, the source of the recording. On the tape, Che asks for ways to hide the information about the foundation right before her return to Korea on October 30th. Although present was Cho Han Gyu, the former president of Local Daily, which was the first to report in 2014 on the existence of an unofficial presidential advisory group that included Che's ex-husband, Jung yun hui Cho said he was fired after revealing the news. I heard from one of the company's board members that the presidential office called and said to fire me, and it was unavoidable. Cho also said he has documents showing the presidential office was monitoring high-level judges, saying it shows the presidential office was trying to destroy the constitutional principle of separation of powers. Lawmakers are also questioning professors and the former president of Ihua Women's University over allegations that Che's daughter received preferential treatment in admissions and grading. The professors denied the charge and offered an apology. As the former president, I'm very sorry that such things happened during my tenure. I have nothing to say and I'm terribly sorry. The fifth parliamentary hearing on the scandal is scheduled to be held next Thursday. Lawmakers have summoned Choi soon shil for a second time after she refused to appear at an earlier hearing, citing health issues. Park ji Arirang News.